let's talk about sunscreens other than the usual Korean ones. I figured when my friend brought home the Dr. Shed's Haldi and Hyaluronic Acid sunscreen and the Derma Co C Cinnamide Radiance Sunscreen Aqua Gel, both apparently very popular in India. She is Indian, so I trust she got the good stuff, but if you have other Indian sunscreen recommendations, both her and I would love to know in the comments. I also still owe you a review of the La Roche-Posay Hyalu B5 Aqua Gel SPF 30, so we will talk about that one. And lastly, about the Tokobo Bio Watery Sun Cream SPF 50, because apparently I always have some Korean sunscreen on the go. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. Dr. Shed's Highly and Hyaluronic Acid Sunscreen promises broad spectrum protection against UV rays and blue light, as well as hydration and repair of a compromised skin barrier. Although it doesn't specify by which means it wants to do the latter. It is a thicker yellow cream. The color might come from the turmeric extract added that on the skin melts into a watery gel formula that is very easy to spread and leaves only a light tackiness behind. There is absolutely no scent. I admit I was surprised how easy the cream was to apply. It initially felt much more substantial than it was on the skin. The watery texture after application meant I could easily spread it everywhere and experienced no stinging or irritation when I brought it right up around the eyes. It also has absolutely no white cast, not on me, but also not on my friend. And I suppose that is what they refer to when they say for Indian skin. It adds a little glow to my face and is quite hydrating to the point that for my skin it is too much in the summer heat. Looking at the filters, we will see that Dr. Sheth's version is a hybrid sunscreen, meaning it uses both inorganic filters like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, as well as organic filters, namely octinoxate, avobenzone and octocrylene. These are perfectly fine filters unless you have sensitivities against them, but none of them qualifies as modern filters used in other sunscreens from Asia, all things like the La Roche-Posay uv Immune 400. This lack of modern filters paired with the probably sparing use of inorganic filters to avoid white cast leads to a rating of SPF 50, but only PA++++, so not the highest possible UVA protection, especially important for those that want to target pigmentation issues. Here, a high UVA rating is necessary. As additional skin beneficial ingredients, you will find 1% hyaluronic acid as humectant, 1% turmeric extract used for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, alantoin and aloe vera juice for soothing, and licorice root extract aiming to target hyperpigmentation. What I really appreciate is that they publish the SPF testing results on their website. Overall, it is a nice sunscreen that is probably best suited for normal to dry skin types, but not one I would reach for when hyperpigmentation is my main issue. Other than UV protection, the Dama Co C Cinnamide claims to give you glowing skin thanks to the combination of vitamin C, as in C, and niacinamide, as in cinnamide. While it is called aqua gel, to me it looks more like a white cream and has no noticeable scent. Upon application, the cream feels richer than I usually prefer, but has barely any tackiness and wears comfortably all day. I could take it up right to my eyes without stinging, I had no issues with white cast, and neither had my Indian friend, for whom it is much more an issue than for pale me. Despite the initial rich feeling, it wasn't too much for my skin in terms of hydration, and the finish was very natural with barely any extra glow. It is a sunscreen using purely organic filters, octinoxate, avobenzone and oxybenzone, all three good but old filters. The protection rating they are able to reach with that is, according to their testing certificate published on their website, SPF 52 and UVAPF 27, which qualifies this sunscreen as broad spectrum, and as high UVA protection, although there are sunscreens like the La Roche-Posay UV Immune that have almost double. As skin beneficial ingredients, you have sodium ascorbyl phosphate, a vitamin C derivative, niacinamide, and phospholipids. There are also some plant extracts, probably added for potential antioxidant benefits. Overall, I like it as everyday sunscreen, and I think it will work on a wide variety of skin types, as well as on those that don't want much added glow. Technically, the La Roche-Posay Hyalu B5 isn't labeled as sunscreen, but as a moisturizer with SPF on the La Roche-Posay website. As the testing for SPF claims is always the same, though, that doesn't really make a difference if, very important, 
you apply as much as is recommended for sunscreen, which is always a lot more than regular people apply sunscreen. Aqua Gel is the perfect theme, as it is baby blue in color and feels like a cooling gel with a fresh scent, reminding me of ocean meets shower gel. Very pleasant when you ask me. For my face and neck I use six pumps, which spread easily, but somehow get more body when you start rubbing it in. I don't know how to best describe it, it just gets a little firmer on the skin than how it initially feels when it comes out of the tube. There is minimal tackiness, way less than I expected, and it felt initially comfortable, but is too much in terms of hydration on my skin in the summer. If you use less and treat it like a moisturizer instead of like a sunscreen, this is less of an issue, but will also not give you adequate sun protection. For filters you will find Octocrylene, Homosalat, Octisalat, Abomenzone, Mexoril XL and UV T150. The first four are old filters, the two last ones are new ones offering excellent broad spectrum protection. For hydration you have glycerin, dimeticone for some extra slip and then the soothing pathenol that gives the name to the B5 line. You will also find alcohol denat, quite common in products designed to be lightweight and fragrance for that ocean breathe scent. Overall, I think it is a nice moisturizer, but not my favorite as sunscreen. The low protection it has will only get lower if, following your comfort levels, you apply less than you actually would need. If your skin is dry or very dehydrated, you might feel different though. The Tokobo Bio Watery Sunscreen is a formula using organic filters as well as mung bean extract to soothe and biohyaluronic acid for hydration. It has a white watery formula that feels thicker on the skin than expected when you start to rub it in. The scent reminds me of pine. I use two fingers worth of sunscreen for my face, which spreads easily and leaves no white cast on my skin, as well as only minimal tackiness. I can also take it right up to my eyes without any irritation. The finish you get is slightly dewy, but not too much, and it wears comfortable throughout the day. For the summer months, I find it to be a little more hydrating than my skin needs, but once it is colder, that won't be a problem. The filters used are more modern organic filters like UV Null T150, Mexorul SX, UV Null R+, Tinozop S, and Parasol SLX, which is less widely known. On top of that, there is niacinamide, glycerin and sodium hyaluronate for hydration, alantoin for soothing, and a bunch of different plant extracts. For the scent, you will find fragrance. It is one of the sunscreen that ticks all of my boxes. Finish not to do, modern filters, comfortable to wear, so I can see myself reaching for it a lot once it gets colder again. Due to the choice of sunscreen filters, I can see it working on skins that are usually sensitive to organic sunscreens. If there is anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and it links to my Instagram blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon, bye!